Question 10 in this OCR Gateway P5 section for Physics GCSE and for further additional science. Baharat's teacher shows his class an experiment with light. When the experiment was first performed many years ago, it changed scientists' views about the properties of light. Now actually, that this experiment was done at a time when scientists were debating whether light was a wave or a particle and actually some believed it was a wave because it, they noticed it had similar properties to other waves and some believed it was a particle because they noticed it had similar properties to a particle now this is called Young's double slit, exper um, double slit experiment and it's quite a difficult diagram to understand at first these wave fronts here, these lines they are like the peaks of the wave, like the crests of the waves, coming towards these double slits. And what you actually get is this diffraction pattern here, where the wave spreads out into these semicircles. And also from the other side as well. So this might help us to understand, well, what does it mean here when it says an interference pattern is produced in front of the double slits. Well, the interference pattern is when the two diffractions interfere with one another. So, let's see what the question is going to ask us to do. Baharat's teacher explains this famous experiment provided evidence for the wave nature of light. Explain how the interference pattern provided this evidence pretty tricky one I think. Uh, have a little think about what I've said. Have a little think about what's going to happen when two crests meet at the same point. Have a think about what happens when two troughs will meet at the same point. And have a think when maybe one crest and one trough meet, what's going to happen. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, well, what's happening is there's, go there's constructive interference and there's destructive interference. I think that's the easiest way to explain it. When two crests meet, or in fact two troughs, there is constructive interference. when one crest and one trough meet there is destructive interference You can't explain that with particles. If two particles meet, they'll just bounce off each other. They won't interfere with each other. So that's the second part of the answer here. You cannot explain this with particles. Okay, so that's why it's evidence for wave nature of light. Now, really, if you just talk about there's an interference pattern produced, the idea that waves can interfere but particles can't, you can still get marks on this one here. But I think it's worth explaining it to you in that way. Now, if you just would like to know, I'm just going to go up and actually explain that with the diagram that I talked about earlier to explain what's happening, where you're getting the constructive, where you're getting the destructive. If you think this is going to go over your head, then by all means go on to the next question. So let's think about the waves from this side meeting the waves from the other side. 
okay just draw these ones remember each of these lines is just meaning a crest so where there are two crests meeting I'm going to mark these points in red there 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 there's loads of them okay and there'd be more if I carried on this line here those are all points of constructive interference in other words at that point you've got two waves both of which are peaking so you get one peak which is much larger okay it's like adding them up now in blue I'm going to mark a few points where actually a crest is meeting with a trough if you think about it in between each crest is actually a trough so here 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 and here and also here and there and there yeah there is a and there as well and there is actually a crest of one wave and a trough of the other one so where I've marked the crosses we've got destructive interference where you've actually got one peak one trough so therefore you've got overall nothing no movement at all and that's actually really interesting because you see there are points where light and light come together to make no light at all okay let's move on to the p6 questions then